Zoom, zoom. Welcome back to the Formula Ones. Uh, the and yes, that is our catchphrase. Zoom, Look zoom. out, Mazda. Okay, <laughs> we've taken it from you. You let it sink, sit for too long, and now it is ours. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> Except ours is not a little girl. No, ours is normal. Ours is it. Ours is man. Adult Three man. grown men says zoom, zoom. Okay, we're not trying to fuck with your head. Oh, uh, kid, zoom, zoom. That's charming. I better buy a car. No. Yeah. This no. is watch out. There's a car on the road coming for you. <laughs> Jump out the way. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if the if the Formula One drivers honked all the way through the the Miami Grand Prix? Yeah. In in in, in solidarity. Solidarity with the for the guild? writers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. That would have been well, fucking cool. as long as the, they don't, don't do it in Burbank or the PD is going to come down on you. <laughs> They're going to take your yeah, super Lewis, license away. Lewis keeps on, you know, putting on helmets to to, to help causes, mm -hmm. you know, put a WGA yes. helmet on. Yeah. What's put going a blue on? helmet with the blue fucking helmet. eagle holding something that might be a script and might be a pen. <laughs> that, that logo looks like a freaking two slaps, dude. <laughs> the logo oh my God. rocks so It screams hard. liberty. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the Miami Grand Prix happened. Do they have horns? Uh, so. that's a great question. Um, we'll have to fucking throw that to our expert and yeah. get back to everybody. Yeah. Uh, one thing happens. I do know is is they have good fake laughs. From it, watching yeah. the Miami Grand Prix. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you, would you like to do some of their fake laughs? I mean, it's they're all sort of drowned out by Vin Diesel, um, yeah. but it's, it's just like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're going to have fun to yes. <laughs> I didn't do myself any favors, but we are going to um, we're going to go out and um, we're going to have a, a good time today. Good afternoon. The Miami Grand Prix, it happened. It stappened. Mm -hmm. It went uh, a, a, a brutal quality for. Did you just Max say it stappened? It stappened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. real good. Uh, he went from. He uh, started 10th on the grid moved up nine spots in 15 <laughs> laps on fucking hard tires uh hard tires it, turned out to be the way to go they yeah. sure did yeah uh and passed his his teammate sergio perez with like 10 laps to go sergio to, started to with the win. medium yeah uh, Fernando Alonso finished third again. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think a good way to go through the race might be to do what we, what we talked about doing last time and g going in order of how they finished and the, and I think I, I do want to cover the team principles as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk about where each of the drivers and team principles fits in the, in the bond universe. Yeah. Uh, like just what exact like characters they would represent based on appearance. F1 demeanor. has a very international man of mystery. Yeah. James Bond, Mission Impossible. Hell, I'll even throw him in there. Austin Powers yeah. vibe about it. And I think yeah. we should open those universes up as well. As Absolutely. Someone belongs in one of those okay. instead. Fair enough. And I, we have several categories we can put these guys in, whether it be a evil mastermind in charge of whatever organization is the bad guy of this particular fake movie, or whether it's a henchman, or whether it's an ally, a la mm -hmm. Felix, James Bond's American counterpart. Trusty Felix. Uh, you know, let's throw cues in there. We got a lot of subcategories. Cues. We'll, we'll, yeah. we're, as always... We haven't figured anything out, and we'll be firing from the hip. <laughs> yes. So Kevin is going to share his screen, right? And he's going to show us these men one by one. Okay, Max Verstappen in first place. Okay, this one's obvious. He is yeah. a villain. He He's looks a like villain a villain. For yeah. Sure. yeah. He, he is so... I mean, I got I to gotta say he is a henchman who doesn't have a lot of lines. Really? 
Yeah, I don't That's think you give him. I don't think you give him starring henchmen. Okay. I could see him being the guy who, like, you see, like, doesn't have a lot of lines, but he's like the pain expert. I could see him pushing a little liquid out of a needle and like kind of flicking it, which yeah. like they don't really have to worry so much about getting the air out of that. Yeah, needle. weirdly, they're gonna like <laughs> they're gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah. We that's so fucking funny. It's just like it doesn't matter if it's air. Oh or well, I gotta make poison. sure this air isn't in the needle. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be all poison. <laughs> you only need a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Um I, for, weirdly, he looks like the guy that's really good at kicks. Like he just comes <laughs> in and kicks a lot, and then the you know, Bond will like beat mm. his ass somehow. <laughs> yeah, I, I it's really easy, especially knowing his um his temper when something goes wrong over the radio yeah. of him somehow miss bond getting away and him losing his mind. Yeah. Yes. I could also see, uh, I am I'm, I'm feeling the born universe, mm-hmm. uh, with, uh, with him as well. Like a Carl yeah. urban type yeah. guy that just like runs onto a bridge and like looks out and he sees Jason Bourne like in a little cigarette boat just like yeah. scooting away and goes yeah. he's like like dead faced murderer. Yeah. But not the main guy for sure. No. James Bond and- just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to second place. Sergio Perez. This is really interesting. I yeah. could definitely see him being the guy that like receives James Bond yes. in, his, in Mexico. Absolutely. In Mexico. Yes. I, that's At, this exactly is an, what I was This thinking. is his Mexican counterpart who yeah. helps him out, probably dies. And yeah. let's just say sure. odds or, are most of the allies are gonna die. Yeah. Or he's he um he comes back, you know, he 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 receives him at the beginning. And then at the end of the movie, Bond is falling off something, and then you just see a hand come out and grab him, and he's just like, "Oh, he's got you, muchacho," or yes. whatever. And then he just flies it's, off into this. It's thing. also fitting that he's um, he's teammates with uh, Verstappen because couldn't you see the two of them pick up James Bond and he'd be like, "You know, I've been with this guy forever," and then Verstappen shoots him in the back of the head. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, I, so he picks up James Bond. He takes him to his villa. James Bond meets his family, like yeah. really comes to his hot like, sister. the hot the sister. richest oh of God. this of this <laughs> culture. Yes, and then later, <laughs> Verstappen is pointing a gun at him and Sergio Perez, and then Sergio Perez he just like motions that Sergio Perez can like walk away, and Sergio Perez is like, "You promise, like my family, you promised yeah. you'd like let them go." Yeah, and, Verstappen, and there's a scene I, when they're I at did the let villa. Them go. Into uh, the incinerator. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, Sergio. There's a scene at the villa where um, Sergio ha- has like had a little too much tequila and is like grinding too hard yes. on like some of the yes. other ladies around. And yes. James Bond is even like, "Hey, I mean, I just met your family. It's like, yeah, oh, it's, it's Mexico. Yeah." It's like, uh, yeah, he does like some quip that he's just like, I guess that's how they do it down here. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Let, can we look at Christian Horner before we look at this <laughs> <Okay>. next person? <laughs> I am excited to get to Fernando Alonso. But, um, oh, my goodness. Okay. So, Christian Horner, my theory on Horner mm-hmm. is that he works for MI6, but is dirty. Yeah, he winds oh, that's, up. That's yeah, it, that's very interesting. That's good. He winds up like being the mole inside MI6 that gets yes. sniffed out by the end of the movie. All along, right. he's like, I, I don't know, James. Somehow they've uh, figured this one out again. Um, you know, better luck next time. Yeah, yeah. He's always like caught in the server farms. He's just like, why are you? <laughs> <laughs> why are you over? Here? Why are you in this portion of the facilities? Like, oh, I just wanted to do a quick little check or whatever his accent is. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can see him in front of like an overhead projector for sure. He's yeah. like he's he's briefing Bond on the mission. He mm-hmm. definitely ends up being uh, like a tertiary bad guy. I could even see him being revealed as the main bad guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and just 
spoiler for this whole episode. Yeah. I would say 95% of these guys are going to be bad guys. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> They're either... Like, some... You cannot... Like, there's no suspension of disbelief for even, like, an act of the movie that they would ever be a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're some, supposed you to believe like, for five for minutes this guy's right. supposed to be a good guy, and you know immediately he's not. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you think that that is, you know good old American patriotism where we see somebody that is European and we're like, no, we're just like, oh, this, the guy's this is be a evil. bad dude. Yeah. This is an evil guy. Could also see um, a, like this being like a new Basil exposition type character in Austin powers. Maybe someone yeah. who Austin um, is accidentally making a lot like short jokes about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, can't like, pretends that he can't see him because he's like looking over his head uh, like that you know kind of thing where is he yeah yeah okay next (laughs) oh my god aston martin fernando alonso (laughs) this one is interesting i do think he could fall into a lot of different you're right uh, categories of, okay. of I, I, evil. Yeah. The, you, I mean, I, what do you think of this though? This is a twist on it. A Bond rival. Hmm. Oh. Who you think is a bad guy, and then turns out to actually do the right thing at the end. A little okay. bit of an anti-hero. Okay, like the double crosser. Yeah, well, like yeah. like you're so expecting, you it's almost sides, the reverse yeah. Horner, where it's yeah. like, this guy's clearly fucking bad news. Or maybe he's getting fucking yeah. uh, strung along the whole time by the bad guys, but then like finally figures it out too late. Anybody yeah. who is good at all, I think, will wind up dead. I, I'm going to say that this is the teaser agent that gets caught at the beginning of the movie okay and gets the thing tested on him and yeah. his face like he gets injected with whatever poison and his face okay. melts that's good and we do have a couple teaser agents in yeah. the in the paddock yeah i don't we have think a couple it's of just those. here now yeah. Hayes, are you leaning straight up villain for fernando no i'm actually not now that you mention it i think because he is so easily cast as like someone that like Dan- I'm picturing like Daniel Craig, mm-hmm, like yeah. going up against a person of this swarthiness. Yeah, like they would end up fighting alongside each other for sure. And if he's the guy from like uh, Spanish intelligentsia who yeah. like uh, is like able to in those contexts. Yeah, like, like MI dose out, or something. Out, yes, he can out <laughs> out bond bond within mm-hmm. Spain. Uh I really I rub could, it in his face. Yes. Yeah. I could see them uh ending up kind of on the same team. Bond having to like rescue him and they fight together, like that whole thing. And I think he could honestly survive the whole movie. I think Garrick is right that I could also see his face getting melted <laughs> off in the first <laughs> uh in the first sequence. Yeah. But I think he could end up, yeah, making it. Well, all may, may, okay, so maybe he survived through the previous movie, and then in the beginning That's of the next call. movie, yes, he, oh, yes, he gets, yes. and then now call. we're just like, yeah, like That's Bond right. is out for revenge. He's, he kind of signed up for the next one as a favor yeah. to the like. It's like, all right, we yeah. made a lot of money. I'll do. Mm-hmm. I'll do yeah. one day. The, get the, my the, the fucking face melted off. Right, the sleeper hit. You know, the sleeper uh, agent that not That's sleeper right. agent, but like. The person that that wasn't supposed to do well in the movie, but he tested yes. extremely well. So it's like, let's just bring him back. And then movie. Austin Powers is like, no, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. Because in all these movies now, the, the guys are supposed to have attachments that like they yeah. explicitly never had before. But now it's like, mm. that was my best friend. It's like, yeah. Like, yeah. Who that was, was that? <laughs> Right. know that okay you guy. have like a girlfriend now that yeah. you love and stuff okay weird yeah and they're always like way too fucking nice to them in the first act yes. like it, to an uncomfortable extent you're like okay well this guy's gonna die <laughs> he was out in the first act with fernando from the previous movie mm-hmm. on a boat in like my york you know with, he like, probably gives him a gift he yes. gives bond to get yeah. like a special yeah. chain or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> And so he like he looks down at the chain uh-huh. throughout the movie, and he's like, "Oh my god, I got to do it for him. Got to do it for Nando." Okay, next. 
Lewis Hamilton. Oh, okay. God. I think kind of a, a, a this is an over the plate Bond ally. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Just easy. Yes. Uh, I could see them being like little rivals too, like yeah. racing each other. I actually think Lewis, we could see Lewis Hamilton playing this character. I mean, he yeah. like they could cast him as a Felix type guy. Yes. Yes. Right. right. Uh, uh, but they're 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 racing. They learn to love each other. He lives uh, across like many movies. This could actually be like when they end up like oh like we're, oh it could be Idris Elba is the next Bond when they're like okay actually we're 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 not yeah. going to do that. But yeah yeah we'll put him in a bunch. And when they finally <laughs> do kill him off, more as a contractual dispute rather than a storytelling device. Right. It's right. it's because, they they milk it for everything yes. possible because like yeah. they oh have actually God. established a relationship. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah the the contract that was. In dispute is, you know, Lewis wanted a piece of the Bond franchise, like the the entire back end of all DVDs sold from the Sean Connery <laughs> era to now. So, yeah, yeah it's agents like, made a crazy demand to get him out. <laughs> yeah. Did you see he was seen uh, frolicking with Shakira? Shakira. After Tom Cruise Big dog. was getting up close and personal with her at the Grand yeah. Prix. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like she, I mean, Shakira got trapped in like the Tom Cruise charm. And then she realized that the charm was coming off of imitating a real F1 driver. And she was like, I'll just go for a real F1 driver. I'm fucking Shakira. That's right. I can get anybody. Mm -hmm. And he probably still has his bulldog in the James Bond universe. And that gets some laughs. Yeah. Yeah. Got an English bulldog and it gets drool on, on, on James Mm -hmm. Bond and, Mm-hmm. He's got his tuxedo. It's like, yeah, the, the yeah the the bulldog the closest, has little gadgets. Yeah, it's the its closest collar. they have for a, a, a joke. Yeah, who's next? Carlos oh Sainz. Not Carlos a good picture of him. Not a great yes. picture. It makes me think he dies real fast. Real, he, real quick. He's an ally for sure. Uh, not a like competitive one, like no, someone no. who who Bond likes. No, he's, he's, he's the, the guy that drove him to the casino. Yes, yes. Yeah. and turns yes. around to start talking to him as a rocket launcher hits the front of the hits car. The, uh, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Flips it over. Of course, Bond survives because you know the um the what is it? I forget what that thing is called. The thing that comes up in between the um, divider. Yeah, the divider. Yeah. Um, partition. The partition goes up, and that's bulletproof. All that shit. Uh-huh. Have you ever been to Madrid before? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I could see him in the in the casino. He's undercover and he's on a radio to bond. Like he's holding a tray. He's mm-hmm. like undercover as a server. Oh, yes. And he ends up getting uh, uh, caught and injected with something, and he dies in in Bond's arms. Yeah. And this is like yeah. minute. 18 and Bond has to be like Carlos Carlos <laughs> yeah. come in yes yeah. yes yeah, right absolutely and, and he runs down like try and like meet him at back and he's like oh. and and Austin Powers like gets way too complicated in order on his tray <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah. that's right and as he's choking he's like what are you saying I don't speak Spanish <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in English mate <laughs> <laughs> okay Next driver, George Russell. Ooh. I Man. I mean, uh, a lot of possibilities. Yeah, this this could be Q. This could be the new Q. Okay. Um, what do you think th- of this? He's the guy at MI6 who is so straight laced. He's yes. pissed off at James yeah, Bond for like skirting yeah. around the rules and mm-hmm. bending the law a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I could see that going in and and he dies for sure, but he could also transition from that like fake agent to like the new I, I it, like can't you see like 2023 casting of like the new Blofeld like ends up being mm. like someone that looks like <laughs> this. <laughs> somebody is real George Russell. <laughs> Just somebody slim and slender. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Or is he like I, young I like Blofeld? This is- 
This is like M's son or something that's like taking oh, right. over. Yes, mm-hmm. that's you right. Know, um, you know, and he was he thought Bond was too extreme and yes. too much of a rogue agent until an attack on MI6. And then he realizes, OK, there is yeah. a method to the madness and maybe yeah. we need a man like Bond out there. Right. right that's right. right. He benched Bond. He put him behind a desk. And yeah. now he's like, now he's got to eat crow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. he didn't just bench Bond. At some point, he is after Bond. Bond, oh, yes. Bond, Bond is, is a rogue under agent. suspicion as a rogue agent. He is pursuing Bond. Yeah. And then he, you know, he he's has Eb's to eat son that he yeah. has to, and he has to, he has to catch Bond. Yeah. M's in a coma and shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there is somebody's going to be listening to this and he's like, we should just fucking make this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just do it. George Russell. George, uh, George Russell. So George let's Russell do, was, we've done, thing. we've done both Mercedes drivers. So let's do Toto Wolf okay. now. <laughs> oh, I actually God. think this is h- really hard. Toto yeah. is very difficult. Yeah. He's too like visually insane to be in a movie. He, I think like, I have to make him a villain because yeah. he's got such off putting energy. Yeah. Like when something goes wrong. He he is in my mind the financier of the villain. Like he okay, he is, that makes he sense. Is the guy who um um who secretly is paying for everything, and he is behind like a wall of deniability where he can just like he can get off scot free a little bit. And, and of the pr- the principles, he um seems to care the most about his physique. Which yeah. doesn't have- that that's a problem yes. for our purposes. I yes. think he's too big. Mm-hmm. There's no like Daniel Craig is not letting this guy be in a scene with him. No, I think you would have you know? to have a scene with him like in a very unrealistic home gym setup where yeah. like you kind of <laughs> set up like, oh, shit. He not only is he the mastermind, he's pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah. James Bond's really got his work cut out for him. And like right. his he's got like some woman who come, brings him a phone and a towel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's I right. That. He does have to f- he does have to fight Bond at some yeah. point. And and it, it is like a new spin on the secondary villain financier character that he is also like big and strong and could Right. Like if it, what you- it it feels like all of the time he is in a huge robe or like a huge something, some kind of baggy clothing and sitting down. Yes. And I could see him being like finally... real into like East Asian stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Like it doesn't he's really got... make any sense, yes. but he's like, he's do he's like, like practicing with a katana and shit. Yeah. Um, what yes. do you think of this? He used to be an agent. And oh, like a legendary sure. agent, and now he is like now a, a rogue entity out there, and so yeah. like he's probably like right. I know all your methods, Mister Bond. Yeah, West German like uh, like guy that it was like mixing it up, with, you know, back then. Yeah, a hundred percent tries to get James Bond to work for him. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. He's like, you're not making any money. I could I could make you you know a billionaire if you wanted. The name can stay. The way British people say Toto is very. Everything like, Everything they do is it has so silly. It's so whimsical. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, it's, he is. He, he just seems so much huger that he just hangs out around. Yeah. Like drivers. Five, six drivers. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, when, okay. when Garrick, Garrick and I are, are both are like the same size. We're not. Oh, no. <laughs> and when we were driving, when we were walking around the, the paddock, I was like, damn, we're fucking we're big fucking, guys. Huh? Fucking giants, man. This is so fuck didn't we get into this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, who's next? Let's do uh, uh, the next driver, and we'll do um, the rule is we cover the team principal when we've covered both their drivers. Yeah. Okay. Charles okay. So Charles Leclerc. Leclerc. This is a fun one. Leclerc, I feel like, is another agent who dies in the first act. Yeah. I think he could also be getting. I think he could get seriously injured, and he's put in the hospital because they are considering him for like taking over the like okay. the franchise. And stuff. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not ready. They're not ready to kill him too. I was okay. 
he is the guy you who ends up being a, a mole like he ends up also being a rat like you set him up because he's 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 kind of got like uh he looks nice like but he also is a little too attracted to the razzle yeah. dazzle watch yeah. aspect of the whole thing where it's yeah. like he got paid off and now he sold out bond it's a shocking reveal yeah i'm going to i'm going to go a weird route uh this is bond in a flashback so this is <laughs> this is him when he was back at the academy and he's only in the movie for like five seconds and he's a little yeah. too old it doesn't he's fully fucking work well, he's got some like he's, different from yeah. the adult yeah. bond yeah. Or, yeah. yeah he's got like some cgi sheen over him yeah. and shit right right <laughs> This is what I mean. He always gives like the you know pristine. I'm just getting here. Look, um, mm -hmm. and so this is Bond before he went like a little bit rule bendy. Okay, uh, let's cheat a little bit because I don't really know their team principal so much for 2023. Um, last year's team principal, um, pretty good Q. He's got yeah. the look of a good guy in a laboratory. I could also yeah. see him as being the guy who um hands he's like that he unravels a, a roll of like torture devices for right. sure. lines. lines yeah. yes yeah but it's like for the you know for the good of humanity so you're like yeah go right. for it you yeah. know those guys can be the the torture guys can be kind of tall and freaky they wear glasses like that for or you're talking about uh mattia bonotto yes mm -hmm. bonotto yes um i think the that's right the new team principal to me looks like um someone's dad like someone's like the the old guy that you know or the the old guy in the village that you know bond is hiding <laughs> at he's hiding in a house yeah and and the bad he, guys like, show up and they're like we, yeah. we have not he seen has, anyone like this yeah, yeah he he's making under that's bed, right yeah. he's making yeah. like a, a weird tincture <laughs> yes. to, to feed bond <laughs> mm -hmm. i said this last Ow. time and i and i stand by it this is the guy who uh you see him in a sequence and like he's like you know entering some facility or casino or something and then he his face gets pulled off oh you think yeah. this is a mission impossible mask oh yes. yeah, yeah yeah absolutely yes. and emilio oh. estevez is in there <laughs> <laughs> Uh okay. <laughs> Lance, uh, Stroll. Lance Stroll. This oh, one is God. really tough. Oh god. I think I, he is sitting next to Carlos Sainz <laughs> in the car. He's not even driving. Yeah, he's he's in the passenger driving. seat. When the fucking no RPG hits the front of the the car they're driving they're picking up Bond at the airport in. Yeah. yeah. And it does feel like he would have gotten into this movie honestly the same way that he got into formula one yeah it's like, some producers kid. there's no other way yeah yeah absolutely lawrence not. got him in yeah. my son's gonna be an actor now he's gonna be a star look at him look at his face he looks just like his mom whoever <laughs> she is <laughs> and they do like everything they can in the movie to just like make him not stand out but you're still yeah. kind of like what's up with that guy I <laughs> yeah they, they, <laughs> producers kids they always stand out they're always like doug what how did you even get into this? You don't have the look of what this Who is that weird be? actor with terrible <laughs> vocal fry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's that actor yeah. who's way too tan with vocal fry that doesn't fit in with this world at all? No, right. Yeah, he right. just doesn't. Even this picture, you're just like, what's this guy doing here? Yeah. What was it on oh, we were, Rogers? We were talking about The Mandalorian, I think. And it was just a very obvious producer. No, it was, kid. we were watching an old episode of Star Trek because Garrick and I used oh. to write for Star Trek together. And there was one, he was a Vulcan, and he was like, <laughs> he was like it's not logical to be doing that. <laughs> I was Jesus like, what the Christ. fuck is this guy's deal? The South Beach Vulcan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the Aston Martin team principal, Mike Crack. <laughs> So this oh is so for gender equity reasons, they've had to uh, either give the women respectful names that are like not sexual or also name all the <laughs> old men. <laughs> in the series, like also like weird. <laughs> yeah. 
gross names, and so that they've gone that um, direction. Pardon me again. Uh, what is your name? <laughs> Fucking Austin Powers cannot get over it, and he's trying to give him like really serious information about like the villain's plan. <laughs> He's like it's an MI6 giggling. intelligence officer and like fucking all. And it's like, Austin, please listen to him. Uh, <laughs> listen to my crack. <laughs> He's Luxembourgish. Oh, my God. He, re he really, really wants to be taken seriously. That's I, I don't even think those are real glasses. Um, I, I think that his hair is dyed. But it just all of that can't get over the fact that his name is Mike Crack. Yeah, <laughs> so. very easy to see him over like one of those computer screens that yeah. is too perfect and not business enough. It's like too yeah. entertain. It's like too entertainment driven to be taken seriously in a boardroom. But it's it, yeah, it, yeah, and it's like some weird brand. It's like an Asus. Mm. Oh my god! Yeah, it's it's an actual brand you can buy with the computer, like the logo yeah. is under the screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, who's next? Okay, Lando. Lando's uh, interesting. I feel like yeah. I, I can see Lando's face getting melted off. He's another guy who I could like. Uh, they, what do you I think feel like they don't do this too much, but they'll start doing it more like a young guy who they do kind of like groom for like some yeah. larger role in the in the franchise. Uh, what do you um, think of this? It's an opening mm -hmm. and he gets the MacGuffin and he breaks it out and you think like, oh, this guy is oh, stealing yes. this in, and then gets shot and then the bad guy walks up. And like you yeah. see his boot and he takes it out of his hand, like some vial yeah. of fucking like uh like a nanovirus. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely can see that. Like it's definitely see him running away and like stopping and a hole comes through like the the exit wound is coming through his his yeah. forehead. Can't you see like, like this photo with a with an exit wound in the forehead a it's absolutely. being shown to Bond of being like, Do you know this guy's like, Yeah, we went to the academy together. It, we're in the academy together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> or it's the brother of somebody. It was the yes. younger brother of my ex lover yeah. who like was in the academy. Yeah, he he kept on trying to do the things that Bond does, but he couldn't do it as well. So he went off and did some dangerous mission on his own to prove himself. Yeah, and it gives him an, an, an excuse to uh, go to Victoria Norris and tell her that her yeah. brother's dead, and then they fuck. Yeah, absolutely. I could also see. I could see two things. One, I could see lando like mclaren just like gets lando out there better than i feel like lots of other teams 100%. Do. like yeah he's he, got the and, best pr team in, yes. in in f1 and so i could see him getting this role number two i could see him playing lando norris secret uh like you know d d d f1 driver by day mi6 spy by night can't yeah. you see them doing that as like a tie-in in like yes. the next movie? Yeah, the way that Men in Black were like, oh, all these famous people are actually aliens. Yeah. Like they'll they will, I think, start doing this thing. We're like, oh, this th these famous people that you know are actually yeah. also Lando gives us right. information. He's yes. like asleep. He go travels around the world with F one. Yes, and he's actually our man. And we get a really stiff performance from Lando himself in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't Norris, mention it, big fan. Yeah, <laughs> he like walks into the laboratory and throws the keys to Q, and it's like got it up to two hundred. <laughs> and he like leaves his arm up for too long after he throws the keys over. Yes, <laughs> it's like put your arm down. Yeah, <laughs> I thought, yeah, I, yeah. I thought you said this couldn't go past two hundred, and the, the Q is all like, oh, oh. yeah. Oh my god. Pierre Gasly. Okay, that haircut can't be a good guy. <laughs> no, total evil bad guy. Uh, oh my God. Definitely someone who is like, uh, you know, booking it around a corner through like the Venice canals going after like Bourne or Bond or somebody. What do you yeah. think of this too? Like he comes on to whoever Bond's love interest is, who's also uh -huh. a spy, and he's like real sleazy when she's undercover at a casino yes. or something, like mm -hmm. too aggressive with her. And then later on, 
he gets his come up. It's from her when she kicks his ass. Yeah. She kicks That's him right. out of a window or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. I, I would no say. No means no. <laughs> yeah. I would say that he is the um, the DJ at a venue or the bartender <laughs> yes. at a venue. And yeah. maybe that's where the sleazy interaction The DJ comes and in. ends up being yeah. like an evil guy, uh, the evil DJ who's like yeah. going after. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, the evil DJ. Yeah. Right. Oh, the music the haircut stops is and everybody really turns bad. around. He's got a gun pointed at him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, Nico oh Ulkenberg. God. The, he's he's actually the most villainous I oh, feel yeah. like we've seen. Yes, but I got a uh, I got a pitch for for Nico. Nico is the mole MI six has in the bad guys camp. Oh, interesting. Okay, and okay. he tries t- to sneak information out, and he gets killed. It's an yeah. extraction mission or something. Yeah. yeah, but he does not survive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He also kind of looks like. Um, Alec Trevelyan, like if they're doing like uh, uh um the uh the character from Goldeneye played by um Sean Bean, who mm-hmm. <laughs> you know the character's name? God, yeah. well, it was in it was yeah, in Goldeneye does. the game. The game, was, yeah. was very yeah. prominent in the game. Yeah, uh, I only I only played all knives in the game. <laughs> uh, my mom would let me do it if I uh play paintball mode. Really. Yes. I Holy shit. God, that, I remember that, my dad I remember going to buy Mortal Kombat. My dad's like, this isn't the one that is in the news all day. I'm like, no. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you idiot. No, 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 no. Yeah. He he looks like um there's this old uh indie car movie called Driven and the evil like or like the rival driver uh was played by T- Till Schweiger. This is, I, I guess, his name. Yeah. Um, and he looks just like that dude. So every time I see Nico Hockenberg, I'm like, yeah, this is the guy from fucking Driven, and he's ev- either an eat like will give you a pat on the back like Iceman at the end of fucking um, mm-hmm. Top Gun, or is just pure mm-hmm. evil person. <laughs> yeah. Wh- whatever so he is, is, I think he yeah. he 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 he's a flop. Yeah. Yeah. He, he blows. His <laughs> yeah. Mission. He doesn't make it. Oh, yeah, this is a top one. Mm-hmm. Esteban Ocon. He is an ally. He is... Um, gosh. I mean... What kind of nice, friendly guy is he? Like, we're, like it's hard to fit him into the intelligence... I, I, I think it is the intelligence. I think this is the guy that... He's on the tech side and he comes up yeah. with something that doesn't work. Like something that uh-huh. is, you know, like something in his belt buckle or whatever. And Bond needs to use it in a pinch and he presses it and it like sparks a little bit. And you're just like, Esteban. And then he, he right. has to use his fist to cuffs or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. it does, his hair is a little too slick to be. That guy, but like he, the hair is asking to be shot at some point. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> or okay. or like another guy where it's like, okay, I think this guy's a race car driver, and then he winds up being a like he drives somebody around somewhere where like mm-hmm. okay, they needed somebody who who can actually drive a car for this shot. Yeah, he could be like the French Q who wants to come on the mission. Uh, like, uh, but he also was like going out in the field. I mean, are we overthinking this? Is this guy a fucking extra? He might be an extra. Maybe or if if, if we're like the like, yeah, we we should listen to ourselves, right? Yeah, this we guy just fuck. might not want to cast <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I, but it's yo, man, like he loved well, you. He's not even cast. <laughs> oh God. Hey Esteban, they really loved you. You're not right for this one. We're gonna fi- gets, they're gonna find something for you. He gets. It seems to, like he, yeah. He it, he gets it, to the sorry. chemistry read, and, <laughs> yes. and Daniel Craig is like, no. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got like, dead no eyes. Thanks. He's got dead he's eyes. He's gonna start a podcast about how he didn't get cast <laughs> in <with> James Bond. <laughs> I think he smi- he smiles too much and his smile is too kind of like silly. Yeah. He's taller than Daniel Craig. Yeah, yeah, it's just like none of it really 
fits. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're out. You're out. We love You're you, done. man. We really did, but Otmar. just not right for this one. Otmar Snofnauer. <laughs> oh, buddy. Again, <laughs> yeah. Austin Powers cannot yeah. say the yes. name right. <laughs> yes. Zoom <Gizumtite>. tight. <laughs> uh, we're like the combination of his name and his like fully American accent yeah. and, and demeanor is, is also tough to fit in places. I could this... see him picking up uh bond and like a big, like billowy shirt somewhere. Uh, also, we know his does... behavior as a, like a guy who's just trying to survive at mm -hmm. any team possible. And like, will fully copy somebody else's car as long as it gives yeah. him like any kind of, like I could see him also selling out, to yeah you know, whatever fucking terrorist organization is the bad guy in the movie yeah probably he looks like he does the motion capture for lewis hamilton's dog in the movie so like he is the guy in the green suit in the mocap suit in the mocap suit <laughs> that is doing like like there's like a, a, a after credit scene where the yeah. bulldog is dancing yeah. and Otmar is the one that's doing, and he gets like a really good suit. performance out of Craig. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. The, and and it goes viral. The footage of him on all fours and Daniel yes. Greg like crying, scratching his belly and stuff. Have you yeah. guys seen like Call of the Wild with um with the? <laughs> I've seen the footage of. The, it's incredible. The, the, I want to watch the yes, whole the movie like dog. that. Yeah. yeah. He could also be the the handler, the animal handler. Yeah. I can mm, see him yeah. being like Cooper. You know? <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> okay, Mr. Craig, we got the um the line ready and Botas. Botas. Oh, I think God. Botas is Bond's party friend. Yeah, there oh. was um the the one Bond movie where he goes to Greece and like mm -hmm. he, he there's the like the the uh, Grecian guy who's like um eating pistachios the whole movie and like he, he's like drinking wine and shit. I think Botas like takes Bond to the disco and stuff. I could see that. I could see him yeah. being uh, his ally in a um. Uh, first, like, you know, party at the chalet type thing, and then a biathlon style, like, ski and shooting, uh, like, action. Scene. What do you yes. think of this for Botas, this set piece, where they're all, like, skiing, and the guy who's going to give them information that's going to help them out, Botas blows away because that guy broke some custom. Mm. that bond didn't know about it's like we don't shoot before we ski we ski before we shoot or some shit like that right yeah i i feel like he's skiing Botas, for sure he's skiing for sure i think botas is 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 the american counterpart and i think that that it, it would make him pretty happy and i will say anything to make this man smile now i'm honest. afraid he might get locked in a sauna and then they blow the the, the cheddar cheese the shit oh, out of the place yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's right or just cook him in there yeah, yeah. they turn yeah they turn it turn it up and then you just get this really gruesome scene of him sweating and it's like right and it's, bond it turns opens it up and his body flops out yeah we're out of time i want to share the news seven hours ago, the betting market started sh shifting towards a new bond. Uh, the guy actually being cast. Who, oh. who's, who's Vegas got money on? Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Who is that? He's ATJ. He's, um, kick ass. And he was in, um, uh, what is it? Bullet Train. Okay. He was the British yeah, yeah. guy in Bullet Train, aside from Brian Tyree Henry. And he he's already beefed up to play Craven the Hunter. Yeah. Without Spider-Man. Without Spider-Man. I think that it really does depend on how this Craven thing goes. Because if that sucks, um, I, I don't know. If, if it, it sucks like Morbius, then mm -hmm. I, I don't think that they pick gotta, him up this uh, The controversial view, I like the weird movies that make no sense with all the Spider-Man villains. <laughs> it's, it's so funny yeah. that it's J.C. Chandor. 
Did I ever the tell guy, you guys before? The Nate Margin we... call is now making Craven the Hunter. Mm. I love it. What an era. Yeah. That's what we all get to follow, pursue our dreams. I auditioned for Kick Ass way back in the day. Really? And um, and so I get the script, I work on it, and I um, go in, and uh, the, the, the lady who's casting it kind of looks like um, the old host of um, uh, that trivia show where you bank stuff and you go around the circle, The Weakest Link. Remember that? Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. You have The Weakest Link? Goodbye. Yeah. So I go in there, and she says... Uh, before I've done anything, I walk into the room. She says, oh, you're a bit old, aren't you? Oh, my God. Jesus. Okay, you're a bit old, but let's have a go at it. You're a bit old. Okay, like okay I got to do this. Old. I got to do this in a really not old way now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Bye. Bye.